Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing. If you've been here before, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Today, we'll be learning how to make arms for the mini dress form. Dress form with arms are a good way to showcase styles with sleeves. Let's get started. Here is the final version of the dress form with the arms. And this is what I'll be teaching you to make today. Check out my previous video for how to make the body of the mannequin and link is available in the description below. You can also use the draping tape like this to mark guidelines on the sleeve as I've done on the body. Here is the dress form we'll be making the arms for. To create this dress form arms, you need cotton fabric, arm pattern pieces as shown here. You can download these arm pattern pieces using the link in the description below. Cut out the arm top cover and arm bottom cover on cardboard. Then cut fabric around each one enough to cover the cardboard. You need fabric scissors. Other items you need are some stuffing, hand needle, thimble, thread and a sewing machine. Here I'm cutting out the arm pattern on fabric. You need a pair of the uh, arm pattern. So you need two opposite pieces. So I have the fabric folded in two. I then place the arm pattern on the fabric. And pin it as I'm doing now. Next, I aligned the green line parallel to the selvage. Remember to apply the notches after cutting out the arm pattern, just like I'm doing here. On the front, on the back, and also on the center as marked on the pattern. Here, I'm stitching the sides of each arm together. I'm using quarter inch seam allowance. I pressed each seam open. Next, I turn each arm out. I find that it's much easier to turn it using a safety pin, just like this. Here I have the two turned out. Now we need to cover the bottom using the bottom cover like this.
After that, we will be stuffing each arm with this poly filling. Here, I'm tacking and enclosing the cardboard with the cotton fabric cover. Next, I fold in the arm bottom about quarter inch, which is the seam allowance. Then I hand stitch the bottom to it, as I'm doing here. And you keep going round until it's completed. Continue hand stitching until all bottom is now closed. Here I have now completed closing the bottom of the arm. Next, I'm stuffing it to achieve the shape. When you have stuffed it this far, next you make a running stitch from the notch at the front all the way to the back. You can see the double notch at the back. So here is how I'm doing the running stitch. Make a note of the center notch. Then keep going. So you keep tacking it until you reach the back notch. Now tie one end of the thread. Enough for it not to go through. And then pull the other end to create a very slight gather so as to curve the top arm like this. The idea is to round it enough to fit around the top arm cover. So you see the top arm cover now looks like it will fit over that. Now close off the tucking stitch as I'm doing here. This is to secure it in place. At this point you add more stuffing at the top of the arm. This is so that you can um, achieve the desired shape at the top.
then tuck across the stuffing so that we can keep it in place. Now that it's fully tucked in place, it's now ready to be covered. Next, prepare the top arm cover. First, by making a note of the notches. And mark this on the outer side of the cotton fabric. Then enclose the cardboard by hand tacking on the cotton fabric cover. Closing it around the cardboard. Keep tacking all through until it is completely covered. Again, ensure that the notch marks are visible as this will help us align it to the arm correctly. Here, I place it around the arm and make sure that I align it properly to the center of the arm and the bottom part, making sure that those notches marked are visibly aligned. And then following the quarter inch seam allowance, I hand stitch the top arm to the cover like this. So keep stitching until you stitch all the top arm closed around the top arm cover. You may find that it helps to use a thimble to avoid any accident of a needle piercing the finger. So you keep going until you enclose the top all round.
Here, I used a Velcro to attach the arm to the mannequin. To achieve the Velcro attachment, place a strip of Velcro over the top arm and cut around the shape. Now separate it out. Attach this part to the arm and hand stitch it all around. So you keep stitching until you have it all securely in place. Then take the second part and place over the mannequin arm cover. And also hand stitch it in place securely as I'm doing here. Here is a completed mannequin with both arms attached. You can use a draping tape to mark guidelines on the arm. And here we've completed the mannequin. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. See you in my next video. Bye for now.